Hi guys and welcome back to Chimera Land. Today we're looking at fishing. So without further ado, let's get to it. So first up we're going to look at the tools. I've just popped up to my spirit orb and under gadgets we have fishing rods. So we need to research those in order to be able to go fishing. There are three different levels so you can just research them as you go along. An alternative to crafting them yourself is just popping into the shop and you can buy a fishing rod. So if you go to the shop along the top taskbar, you just go into oddities and gadgets and you can buy either a dark bamboo fishing rod or the gold inlay fishing rod, which will save you having to craft them. Now, what we also need to do, I'm just popping back up to my spirit orb, is craft tanks. So I've just gone into my nurturing tab. You can see there's fish tank one, two, three, and fish tank four. Um, so you just need to research those and you'll be able to build the larger fish tanks as well. Okay, so here we are at the workbench and we're just going to have a quick look at building the fishing rods. So what you need to do is go to your workbench, click on your tools tab and here is the bamboo fishing rod. Very easy to make and um, you should be able to do that without too much trouble. Next we have the dark bamboo fishing rod. Now in order to craft that one we need bright paint. We need a bamboo fishing rod, so you do need to craft the original rod. And we need uncommon boards. And lastly, we have the gold inlay fishing rod. In order to do that, you need the dark bamboo fishing rod. You need the excellent board. And you also need fragrant paint. Now we just go from the tools across to the furniture tab and we'll have a quick look at the fishing tanks. So first up we have the beamed tank. In order to craft that we need crystal, excellent board and excellent fine stone. Okay the next tank we have is the patterned aquarium. We need chimera land beast hide, clear crystal, epic board, and epic fine stone for that one. And the final tank you can craft is the framed aquarium that you require a noble beast soul, clear crystal, legendary board, and legendary fine stone. There is one other tank which is unlocked from the beginning of the game. That one is actually the heavenly pool. And that one is just a sort of green craft. So in order to craft that one, we need fine board, rare fine stone, horn rack, and crystal. So that is how to craft the heavenly pool. So now that we have our gear all sorted, let's um, throw a line in and go fishing. Now with the tanks, you do um, have the tanks because you can actually grow fish. What you do is you can catch what's called fry and that way there's one there. You can actually grow these up to actually be a pet. Now here we also have the merfolk fishing spot. Um, I'm just looking on my map. Um, this one's in Westmount, but this is a place where you can catch merfolk, so mermaids um, and the likes, and that is the only place on the map that you can actually catch the mermaids. Now here I've just um, located the harbour on the map. There are different fish on the different islands and if you wanted to catch them all, you will need to actually travel across to the islands and go fishing there. So here I've just come across to East Mount. I'm just looking to see if we actually catch any fish here that we have not caught over on West Mount. Okay, so here we have one. And it just says here complete molar. So that is a fish that I have caught that I have not caught before. 
Okay, here's another fry. This one's a hammerhead fry. So that's a shark you can actually craft, like put in a tank and craft up. So once you've caught the fish, it does actually give you a reward. So here I've just gone into the world um, info. I've gone into the general tab and under fishing. And here it shows the fish that I have caught and the ones that I haven't. So there is quite a few there. Um, you do get rewards depending on what it is and the fish give you a load plus two reward so it gives you plus two on your capability of what you can carry. There are quite a lot of fish um, around the map and if you click on the actual fish itself it will tell you where they can be located. So some are island specific, um, you can have them, this is near freshwater areas in Eastmount. So there's lots of areas that are unique to specific fish including Central Mount so there are a few over there that uh, you can only get from fishing in Central Mount. So once we've been fishing, um, we can come back and any fry that we've caught or merfolk that we've caught, we can actually place into our tanks and grow them into a pet for the fish or any of the fry. Or you can actually turn your merfolk into an attendant. So there are all different types of fry um, and there's all different types of merfolk as well. So you can see there's quite a few there. The merfolk can only be caught in the merfolk fishing zone. Um, all the fry is just dependent on where you are and what you have. So what we've done is we've just popped a stairfish fry into the tank. And you do need to feed it in order for it to stay alive. So when you fish, you get a chance of getting fry, but you also just get normal fish. So every fish will just pretty much eat the normal fish. So that's one thing that you can actually do with them. So you do feed them up to maximum. Just here in the home menu, it shows that I have one out of three fry in my house. You can only have a maximum of three. So no matter how many tanks you put around, you can only have three tanks filled at any one time. The fry I just placed into the tank actually has a three day growth period before he gets to the next level or he's actually completed his growth cycle. So just make sure you keep an eye on them. Um, the food generally lasts for 24 hours and after that you will need to feed them again. Now here is a heavenly pool. This particular fish tank can only take merfolk. So as you can see there, that's all you can put into them. Now, once you um, have completed the life cycle of your fish or it's actually grown to maturity, this is what you'll actually receive. You'll get an egg. Um, this is a grand ice whale. That particular fry only grew to the grand level. However, I also have a noble ice whale. So they do actually continue to grow. Um, you just get an opportunity or just a chance that they will get up to the noble stage or you will find that they're all at the grand stage. Anyhow, that's a little bit about fishing and growing fry. Thanks so much for watching guys, and we'll see you next time.